depression, addiction, alcoholism. Millions of people in the world today are affected by behavioral, mental, and substance abuse disorders. In fact, one in four patients receiving healthcare services have at least one of these medical conditions. Research shows early interventions and appropriate treatment can greatly improve outcomes, but medical experts say these health problems often go undiagnosed. Mental illness and substance abuse is not often uh, recognized or diagnosed uh, because there still is a lot of stigma that is attached to mental illness and substance abuse that somehow it is all a matter of uh, a person's character or behavior and what we recognize today is that mental illness and substance abuse has two components. There's a biological component and there is a behavioral component. Yes, people's choices do impact about depression, anxiety, their management of bipolar disorder, choices to pick up uh, drugs or alcohol. But there's a biological process that happens in there as well where folks can be pre-programmed to develop addiction depending on how many family members and variety of addictive disorders are in their families. If there's a family history of depression. Healthcare professionals in the field say there is progress being made to remove the ongoing stigma of having a mental health and substance abuse disorder, but stress that more education is still needed. The education that is still needed to overcome the stigma is that there is the two processes that are going through is that they have a biological component, which means that they're going to need to take care of their meds, taking their meds on time, but that there is also a behavioral component that is going to need to be put into place, that they're going to have to attend their therapy appointments, change their thinkings, restructure and reorder their lives if it's depression or anxiety that can create disruptions in eating schedules and sleep cycles. And so we need to tackle uh, the treatment on both fronts. We need to help them make the behavioral changes necessary in order to get their life on track. We also need to do medical intervention, uh, which is medication or looking at underlying problems that may need more serious intervention, such as ECT or other treatment options that are available. Experts say the first step toward recovery is an assessment by a trained specialist following a recommendation for specialized treatment. At Aurora Behavioral Healthcare System, physicians and healthcare professionals specialize in a wide range of treatment programs. The mission of the organization is to help individuals, their families, and communities through prevention, intervention, and treatment. Well, as part of our mission uh, with our community, um, we uh, do have community outreach. We have provided education uh, to schools. We provided education to other mental health practitioners. We have um, family meetings uh, here at the hospital, both in chemical dependency as well as other psychiatric illnesses. We have a medical education lecture, for example, for chemical dependency that's open broadly to the public and anyone can attend. And then uh, once a patient does get identified and gets referred to us, uh, we try to find the right level of care for them. In Aurora Behavioral, what we do is we try to become community partners with whatever population that we're working with, whether it's mental illness, substance abuse, um, the LGBT population, our seniors or our veterans. We really want to make sure that with prevention, we want to make sure we are educating about symptoms so people can recognize when they are experiencing problems. We also want to let them know that we are there to help. So whether that is seeking services at any of our facilities or that we need to refer out to another facility that would be better able to manage their problems, that, that is part of where we come in as a community partner. Advancements in medication, therapies, and treatments are proving to demonstrate effectiveness in treating behavioral health conditions. The Aurora Behavioral Healthcare System is committed to making the latest treatment options available to all patients. I'm personally excited in uh, a new treatment that's been approved by the FDA, transcranial magnetic stimulation for treatment-resistant depression. We have uh, providers of a variety of psychotherapy technologies that have been uh, developed specifically for certain types of illnesses from uh, EMDR that is specifically developed for post-traumatic stress disorder. We have uh, people who provide services in dialectical behavioral therapy, which is specifically developed for certain types of personality disorders. The important thing is that we do a good evaluation and then customize treatment for each patient and uh, pick from the menu of various different types of services we have available, try to provide the best care that we can.
Medical professionals say with appropriate and effective medication and a wide range of services tailored to an individual's needs, most people who suffer with serious mental illnesses or chemical dependency can make a full recovery, becoming functioning members of society and live a full life. The family can, can expect something that's very rare in the medical and health field, that when you have a family member being admitted or being treated, that you're part of that recovery team. Usually, you're excluded and you have to fight to be able to help. Here, they embrace you and they make you part of the, of the recovery team. Any person coming into Aurora Behavioral can expect to be treated by a team of experts from psychologists and psychiatrists to medical doctors, nurses, case managers, and social workers. They will have a unified team that will be able to address any of their needs that they are wishing to have addressed. Established in 2000, Aurora Behavioral Healthcare System is made up of six acute psychiatric hospitals designed to provide a variety of inpatient day treatment and outpatient services for all ages. It is the mission of Aurora Facilities to be the mental health anchor in our community. We take that very seriously. We not only provide community education, but we provide free assessment and referral services. Those assessments will occur to anyone who comes in the door uh, and try to help match a patient up to the kind of care that they really need for whatever problems they present with. Research indicates that mental illness and chemical dependency are treatable medical disorders. Today, Aurora Behavioral Healthcare System has an arsenal of medical weapons and treatment options designed to help people overcome these health conditions and reclaim their lives. To find out more about Aurora Behavioral Healthcare Services and their treatment options, visit aurorabehavioral.com.